The Illuminati represents an all-seeing eye for conspiracy theorists. But what if their everlasting light was extinguished long ago? Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In this installment, we're counting down the five most interesting facts we could dig up about the formation, purpose, and existence of the Illuminati. That Illuminati and the grammatic symbol has been considered a myth for 400 years. Number five, the Illuminati was founded just before the Declaration of Independence. America was founded by the Illuminati? Well, no, but the Illuminati was established on May 1st, 1776, just two months before Ben Franklin and co. signed the Declaration of Independence. A German philosopher named Adam Weishaupt founded the Order of the Illuminati to advance such radical Enlightenment era ideas as liberty, constitutional democracy, and the separation of church and state. Their name means the Enlightened Ones. They were physicists, and mathematicians, astronomers. They were concerned with the church's inaccurate teaching and they were dedicated to scientific truth, but the Vatican didn't like that. Responding to the political situation that existed in the German state of Bavaria at the time, the order's stated purpose was to put an end to injustice and abuses of power by influencing the people who had power. But did they have anything to do with the founding of the USA? Well, ideas and indeed people traveled a lot slower in the 18th century, so it's highly unlikely that the founding fathers were members of this particular secret society. Number four. The Illuminati was banned in 1784. The Illuminati? They disappeared hundreds of years ago. Did they? The original order of the Illuminati existed for less than a decade. In 1784, the organization had 650 members, but the secret society wasn't exactly secret, as members were known to jibber-jabber all over Munich. We don't uh, know what you're talking about, Hubba. And you can't join the Stonecutters because it's too exclusive. Oh, well... That was a real nice secret organization we had once. They should have made the first rule of the Illuminati not to talk about the Illuminati. Feeling threatened, the Duke of Bavaria threw down the hammer and officially banned the Illuminati specifically. So this secret society, which once had boasted of its power, ceased to exist. Before the end of the century, however, people were writing books alleging that the Illuminati persisted in actual secrecy and had orchestrated the French Revolution. Number three, the Illuminati is blamed for historical events driven not only by corporate greed, but a darker objective. The takeover of America. And then the world itself, by any means necessary, however violent, or cruel, or efficient. For an organization that dispersed in a time when Beethoven was still a teenager, they've apparently been pretty active ever since. As was said earlier, according to the eminently reliable source of the internet, the Illuminati sparked the French Revolution. And, as you probably learned in school, the Illuminati assassinated JFK. Even though the Kennedys are supposedly one of the 13 bloodlines descended from the Bavarian Illuminati. It's just a bedtime story. Anyway, it is a fact that people have passionate thoughts about the Illuminati, and it's become commonplace to accuse celebrities of being secret members of the Illuminati as well. <laughs> they both crazy. She probably dad was in the Illuminati. We're looking at you, Beyonce. And we got our eye on you too, Jay-Z. Uh -oh. And we also have our eye on any celebrity that doesn't act how we want them to, right? Let's be fair though, even if they do often mix up the Illuminati with the Freemasons, you really can't knock the hustle of Illuminati conspiracy theorists. You can't knock the hustle. Number two, the Freemasons and the Illuminati are not the same organization. They formed a new brotherhood called the Freemasons. For the sake of enlightenment, can we all acknowledge that Freemasons are not the Illuminati? The Freemasons date back to the 14th century, and Masonic lodges are a very real thing. I'd like to speak to you about the Freemasons, if I might, sir. Oh, yes. In fact, Brother Spartacus, as Weishaupt called himself, originally wanted to join a Masonic lodge, but couldn't scrounge up the dough for membership. Later on, the Illuminati were actively recruiting members from the Freemason ranks. The identity confusion apparently emerges through endless conspiracy theories, as some have identified the Illuminati as a subgroup of the Freemasons, or connected them to the formation of Freemasonry. It's part of Freemason teachings. It's just a matter of which conspiracy theory you believe the most. But the Freemasons and the Illuminati do in fact have vastly different origin stories. Hey, let's just be clear, there is no conspiracy! Number 1. The Illuminati have nothing to do with the all-seeing eye. The unfinished pyramid, the all-seeing eye. This freaky floating eye is famously found on the American $1 bill, and often thought of as a right under your nose proof that the Illuminati run the country. Mr. Mackey, I think you might want to entertain that this is some kind of conspiracy. But in terms of historical facts, the original Illuminati symbol wasn't the infamous eye, but the owl of Minerva, which symbolizes knowledge. 
The Bavarian Illuminati's association with the all-seeing eye is something that's been perpetuated by pop culture. It's a myth, a farce, a conspiracy. What you see on the $1 bill is the Eye of Providence, an old Christian symbol of the Holy Trinity. But hey, let's throw the conspiracy theorists a bone. The Eye is part of Freemason iconography, and it's a documented fact that many of America's founding fathers were card-carrying Freemasons. You're welcome. You guys are blind! I can't believe that everyone here is just buying into what they're told by the media! So where do you stand on the New World Order Illuminati Freemason conspiracy debate? But you just had to keep digging. For more all-seeing top 10s and fictional owl top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Now let's all get drunk and play ping pong. Yeah!